Hey there, my gorgeous webcrafting wizards of Akadabra! Uh, today's episode, we're gonna take a look. Do you love a fun design? Because I love a fun design. So, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about neurobrutalism, and I'll give you a couple of tips and tricks to create this design. So, let's look at some key characteristics that make a website feel like a new brutalism design. So, one of them is the typography. New brutalism websites use a bold modern typography. So, usually high contrast black bold, big size. And when it comes to picking fonts, there's two I really love that matches the style. One of them is Archival Black and Lex and Mega that you can both find on Google Fonts. You know how in your web design, you usually end up picking like one or two colors, and then you might have variables of that for like a secondary button or a muted button. But generally speaking, you tend to keep one or two colors in your design, where new brutalism takes that all out the window. You can mix and match colors, keep them vibrant, keep them fun and high contrast. And you might notice that all the shapes as well and buttons are quite simplistic. So it's quite a minimalistic style as well. And all the images also have hard shadows and dark contrasting outlines. That includes the buttons and any shapes that you create. And generally speaking, you're not gonna use any gradients on your design, just vibrant colors. And some people like to take it two different routes, whether to go a bit more vibrant or muted like this one. Let's begin creating a new Brutalism website by opening up Wix Studio. And I have a header here, and I'm just gonna also add another section to our page. And we're also gonna upload our own font because right now we are using Wix's metaphor, which is really nice, but we wanna upload a custom font. So I'll be using Lex and Mega for this. So let's say we're making a website that's like a trading application or something. So let's call this the golden golden ticker. That's <laughs> and there we go. Let's take this text and align it to the middle. And now let's pick a fun color for our background. I'm also gonna make this text a tad bit bigger because it's quite small. So something like so there we go. Something like that, like 64 is perfect. And now I'm gonna go here to the background color and choose one. So feel free to pick any one that you like. And now let's start creating some buttons as well. So we're head here to the top, head over to buttons, and we're just gonna pull out one of these regular ones. We're gonna change it completely. As for the buttons, I'm gonna pick a different color and a nice color that contrasts green is gonna be purple. Now here's the trick to actually add that nice hard contrast edge here. You can head over to shadows and we are gonna change this to black. I'm gonna move the angle down this way and start increasing the distance. There we go. We'll also head to the corners and round these out a little bit. So we'll pick eight pixels on each side. And we're also gonna go to the border and pick that same black color. And we are gonna change this to two pixels. I'm also gonna change the text here to text and icon. And that'll give us that cool arrow as well. If you wanna change it, feel free to upload your own as well. But right now it feels like there's not enough on the website, you know, to grab us and to make us join and to be Wolf of Wall Street. So we gotta add some nice images here. Then I went on Flaticon and I found all of these company images. So I downloaded a couple of them. And then I'll just add my orange or purple background color to it. Now I'll head over to the corners and add something like 35% on each side. And remember the shadow trick? We're gonna apply the shadow, we're gonna decrease the blur to zero, and we're gonna slightly increase the distance. And finally, we are also gonna increase the opacity all the way up. And there you go, now you have the style all covered. So you can apply this to all the other items here. So I'll just place these randomly across the board. Also, here's a cool trick to apply the same styling to another icon. So I'll just make this EA smaller. So this is just a PNG image. I'll right click the, uh, the Nike icon and I'll go over to copy element by design from all breakpoints and then boop, click on that and done. I also went over to Lottie Files and I found this amazing trading experience app that Paris Colossus made. So we'll try this in our application. Back in Wix Studio, I can just go over here to add elements and look at that. You can just import a Lottie animation straight into your project. We can go over to change animations and we are gonna paste in our own phone here. Lovely. Let's change the size, increase this quite a bit. And I think something like that is gonna look pretty cool. And there we go, we finished up our new Brutalism website. Hope you enjoyed this episode, thank you so much for watching, please drop a like and a sub, and I'll catch you in the next one.